We are about to see mass cultural extinction, economic breakdown, and the collapse of human civilization. That is, unless y'all just start getting to baby making. We're talking baby making by the billions, pump them out, right? All of that, that's the essence of the movement known as pro-natalism. Right? It's this idea that's especially become very popular in wealthy Silicon Valley and venture capital circles, with probably its most famous proponent being who else but Elon Musk, father to 11 children that we know of. You know, they're terrified that declining birth rates in developed countries, namely the US, Europe, and East Asian ones like Japan and South Korea, that they're threatening to destabilize entire populations. Which I will say, at its base, is a legitimate concern. Right? I mean, we've talked about the demographic problems in some of these places. There's been a big spotlight, especially on the Asian ones. But the pro-natalist solution, just mass producing babies, it's a controversial one. Not least because it tends to be associated with a lot of right-wing politics, right? You see that, and then it gets looped in with restricting women's rights, opposing immigration, even promoting eugenics. Also, many pro-natalists don't just advocate pro-family public policy, with many of them wanting to repopulate the earth with their own children. Like, for example, this mid-30s Pennsylvania couple by the names of Malcolm and Simone Collins. They currently have three kids. They plan for a minimum of seven, but... We're gonna have more than seven if we can, basically, until my uterus is forcibly removed in a botched surgery. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Also, they believe in something called nominative determinism. Basically, that the name that you're given at birth influences the subsequent course of your life, such as the career you choose. And so Malcolm and Simone, they bless their kids with, let, let's call them interesting ones. Right? You've got four-year-old Octavian George, two-year-old Torsten Savage, 16-month-old Titan Invictus, and their unborn fourth child uh, they plan to name Industry Americus. And according to their parents' calculations, given the law of exponential growth, as long as each of their descendants commit to having at least eight children for just 11 generations, the Collins bloodline will eventually outnumber the current human race. But whether those kids, never mind their great, 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 great grandkids follow the pro-natalist dream, uh, that probably depends on how they're raised. Because with this kind of thinking, all it takes is one kid to be like, no, and you have hundreds of millions of potential offspring just gone. And unfortunately, the, the Collinses appear to be off to a rocky start because a journalist for The Guardian actually sat down at a restaurant with them for an interview and they witnessed something that they said left her speechless. Writing, Torsten has knocked the table with his foot and caused it to teeter to almost topple before it writes itself. Immediately, like a reflex, Malcolm hits him in the face. It is not a heavy blow, but it is a slap with the palm of his hand direct to his two-year-old son's face that's firm enough for me to hear on my voice recorder when I play it back later. And Malcolm has done it in the middle of a public place in front of a journalist who he knows is recording everything. And so naturally, not only did this shock hurt, her, but lots of people online who then accused the Collinses of child abuse. Though there, we saw the parents quickly shoot back, saying uh, what they did was not abuse, it was merely bopping. What happens during a bop? Mm. It is a light slap on the child's nose or face that is meant to shock and redirect and refocus attention. The reason we do the face is because it requires much less pain to get the same reaction than doing something like slapping the wrist. With them explaining that they picked up this technique after observing what they said were animal parenting models, which apparently they find more credible than the now well-established scientific research showing that corporal punishment can damage children for life. I do not believe the research is relevant to the type of corporal punishment that we are enacting with our kids. With them explaining that most research only looks at delayed ritualized punishment where pain is the purpose. With them claiming that the point of bopping is to shock or jar, not cause pain. And then we also see to go on to accuse their critics of racism. According to a 2011 study by Gorshoff, 89% of black parents practice corporal punishment and 80% of Hispanic parents practice corporal punishment. Which, you know, many have said they found a little ironic because pro-natalism, uh, it's famously been espoused by racist ideology going back decades, right from fascist regimes in Italy and Nazi Germany to the white supremacists today who fear that Jews are suppressing white birth rates to replace them with non-white immigrants. Though notably, both Malcolm and Simone, they've distanced themselves from those kinds of ideas, saying they're actually in favor of cultural diversity and pluralism. But with that said, for the sake of time and also your sanity, especially because, I mean, we've really only scratched the surface of this this movement, right? The, the Collinses and other pro-natalists, they believe a whole host of wacky stuff that could fill an entire show. But for now, just keeping it with this specifically, I'd love to know your thoughts here.